What's going on everybody? This is Kev the Barber with another classic and today we're going to talk about the things you must need as a beginner barber. Uh, the things on this list, right, they are must in my opinion, everything. If you want to start at home, you want to start in a dorm, these are the things you must need. These are things I've learned as I've been cutting for the past six, seven years and I've really thought about this to really help you guys. If you've already started, then this is a good video for you to check if you have everything. This is from cleanliness to quality work. You can use these things to really improve your game if you haven't already known about it or make yourself more clean. A big thing with barbering is sanitation along with just quality work. You, you, you may not know what you're missing, so please stay tuned for the entire video to see what's really good. Let's get right into it. First things first, you're gonna need a neck strip. The purpose of a neck strip is to bring a barrier between the cape and the client's skin. You don't want this, the client to touch the cape because you put it on many different people. People sweat, there's dead skin. If you put it right on contact with the skin, you're gonna be transferring diseases and bacteria from person to person. This is something I didn't know at the beginning of cutting, and this is something I hope you guys are doing, or if not, you can adopt it now. It's all about learning. Next, you're gonna need a cape. Cape is used just to um, keep a barrier between hair that falls off and on the clothes of the client. Um, I found a little trick. This is not a need, but if you have a blow dryer, after you're done cutting, blow the hair off the client, so then you take off the, the, the cape. I know a lot of the times you can take off the cape, and the hair on the cape still gets on the client. The way to avoid that is to blow it out with a blow dryer. Next on the list, we have edgers. Edgers are used for multiple different things. Edgers are five aught blade or extremely close. Closest a blade can get, in my opinion. I use it for balding lines, for lines of demarcations, if I'm doing a taper, if I'm doing a drop fade, if I'm doing a mid fade, or and I use them for lineups and the beards and on the hairline forehead and on the temple and on the nape area. I usually use the, the wall detailers, these are some good edgers, but they're not the only ones on the market. They're the ones I use a lot of. Excuse my voice, I have been sick for the past few months or so. It's been a, annoying for real, but anyway. Next, we're gonna need adjustable clippers. Now, I call these the all-around clippers. This is what everybody uses to do fades, to do high tops, to trim the top, all these different things. You know, it's, a, it's, it's the staple. You're gonna need this if you wanna do a haircut. Not quite sure if you're using, unless you're using like shears or something and you're a boss at that. Um, other than that, this is really a staple. If you don't have this, I don't know what you're really doing, honestly. They typically come with guards too. So like Andis Masters don't always do. If you're gonna get an Andis Master, you might wanna get some guards with it. But I didn't put guards in here, but guards definitely need guards as well. Next, a comb and a brush. Now when you're fading, you're gonna wanna brush and comb. There's some barbers that don't like brushing because it's claim the, the claim is that it's not able to be disinfected because the bristles have porosity, which means that it absorbs things. It's easy to absorb like a sponge, right? Metal on the other hand doesn't, or plastic. You know what I'm saying? It's low porosity, which means it doesn't absorb as much and it's easier to clean. So combs are advised to knock away your hair, knock away hair so that you can disinfect it. Next, disinfectant spray. Usually use Andis Cool Care Spray or you can use an Oster Disinfectant Spray or, or whatever. And this is very important because like I said, you want everything you use on your client to be cleaned and fine and great. And for the next one you want, for your next client, you want everything to have been cleaned as well. Andis Cool Care Spray is definitely something I use for the clippers. Use it after every single client. Some people spray right before they cut. I sometimes have a bad habit of doing that, but it works if it's sprayed on and left on for 15 minutes, give it time to disinfect. So make sure you, you take note of that. Next, we have dusters. When you cut, hair comes off of the head and goes on the face, goes on the neck, goes on the, the, the cape, everything. You have these dusters so you can dust off the neck and all the hair off of, of that just to make sure that it's a clean canvas as you go. The service that's provided is also a, a pleasant one, a clean one. You don't want it to be any crazy thing like that. You know there are barbers who just be bugging out. You know what I'm saying? You don't be that barber. Next, need some talc powder. Um, skin has a oil, natural oil called sebum that secretes itself, you know, randomly. It's just on your skin. So that's when hair can get stuck because of that oil that's naturally on your skin or sweat or anything can stay. The duster just can't get it out. You get talc powder to dry it, put it on your, put it on your, uh, on your neck duster so that when you're putting it on the face, it just wicks away the hair so that it's completely clean. Some of you who've been cutting for some time understand when the hair gets stuck and you want to get it out and you can't, 
talc powder is how you do that. It's talc powder, you can get it at baby powder, also has talc in it, or you can just get regular talc powder. Either one is fine. Next, you're gonna need a mirror. Um, if you're gonna cut somebody, you don't want them to wait till they get home to see it because sometimes you can sit in the chair and they can tell you something they don't like and you can actually fix it right then and there. If you don't have a mirror, and you're not asking them what they want, you're, in, you're, you're setting yourself up for some problems that you could have solved if you had a mirror with you. Next, we have alcohol. Alcohol, I'm learning in cosmetology schools, alcohol is not something you wanna put on skin. Uh, so I've been using aftershave lotion or aftershave uh, just aftershave period or you can get witch hazel because it's a toner even though it still dries skin It's tones the skin. It doesn't uh, damage your skin, which is what alcohol has, uh, Seems to do it's something that barbers still use. I'm not quite sure why it's something so popular, but alcohol is It's something it's, it's just a phrase that I say it's something I use I've been using it for so long but I'd advise if you use alcohol right now, try and switch it to like an aftershave or a witch hazel or something of the sort so that you can clean hairlines and not damage the skin at the same time. Because as barbers, you don't only just cut the hair, you need to know about hair, skin, and overall health so that you are providing a quality service to your client. Next, I already mentioned this before, but barberside and the barberside bottle. This is where your combs, guards, um, scissor, shears, all of that, all of that goes in there so that you can disinfect thoroughly, you know, so that you don't give people rashes, bumps, skin diseases, none of that. All of that is what you put all that in the barber side. That one. Next on the list, we have cotton swabs. Cotton swabs, this is not a must, but it is definitely a something that I, I suggest you guys have because cotton swabs. You, like when you when when you have something to spray like like alcohol spray or witch hazel spray whatever when people put it in bottles to spray it on somebody, you're wasting a lot of of quote unquote alcohol. I keep saying alcohol because that's what I've been using for a long time, but you know what I'm talking about. You spray it and it goes all over the face, right? You don't want to waste that much liquid. If you get a cotton swab, cotton swab absorbs a lot. You just spray it in cotton swab and you wipe around the face, and then that's saving money, more efficient. The whole client's hair isn't wet. It's just a really efficient way of doing things. Next, you need oil, right? We talked about disinfectant spray that you spray on the clipper so that you can clean it and it also lubricates it because uh, metal and metal going together, rubbing it without putting anything to lubricate it, it just rusts and gets bad and you, that's when clippers get messed up. A lot of people, all of you ask me questions about what lasts long, what clippers last long. Clippers that you take care of last long. So oil comes into play when you have to put a, a little barrier between the metal so that it can run smoothly. And it's cool care spray works, but I think oil is the next step where you can actually keep it better and keep it you know more intact. You know what I'm saying? Keep it keep it well and running well. There was a time that uh, I wasn't putting oil as much as I should have for my masters and they weren't really, it was a, a long time ago. They weren't running as fast, they were pulling hair, they were just being terrible. I thought they were, the, dull, the blades were dull. No, the, it was just, the blades weren't oiled. So make sure you oil after your use. And they, they have instructions on the oil bottle, on the, on the clipper, you know, make sure you're doing that regularly. Next we have a towel, right? So as you know, metal doesn't really absorb things. So you spray and you put oil the oil is not going anywhere. If you have something that, that turns upside down, it may drip, but at the end of the day, the oil is just gonna sit there. You know what I'm saying? There's gonna be excess oil because there's no way you're gonna put the exact amount of oil, the exact amount of spray that'll keep it there and allow you to cut. So uh, I would suggest having a little hand towel that before you're gonna put the oil, before you put this oil saturated clipper to somebody's face, you take the take the towel and just wipe the top so that it, the outside of the clipper is dry and goes on the skin of your client. So it's not like you're just putting wet oil on somebody's skin and can really make it hard to cut and very unpleasant for the client. Last but not least, we have razor and razor holders. So I suggest that you guys get razors after you do shape ups, these razors really get it close and sharp. That's why if you look at my Instagram, you see these sharp lineups. They come from this razor. The razors, I live and die by the razor. My edges are, are not sharp so that I can use my razor. You know what I'm saying? I just put the clippers to the face to outline it. To get it real sharp, I just get the razor. There's no need to have a really sharp edger in my opinion because it doesn't get any closer than a razor. So it doesn't really make sense because especially I, I hate skin irritation. So I try and avoid it as much as possible. But thank you guys for watching. 
in the comments down below. Please let me know something that you learned, something that helped, something that was extremely helpful. I really like to know, talk to you guys. Make sure you like this video as well. Um, the likes and the comments really help the, the progress of this channel. I'm really trying to put more videos out there to help you guys, help you guys succeed, help you guys do better. Thanks for watching. It's great having you guys on this channel. I'm still going to be working on it. And those who are asking about asking about the barber's journey, that's still a thing. As you can hear in my voice, I'm s still very sick. My eyes are sick. Everything's just, I just feel crazy. But I'm still going to try and work through it. Um, thank you guys for rivaling me. It's been a blast. I'm still here. 14.5K. You guys are dope. It's real. I really can't even, I really can't say it enough. But anyway, thank you guys for everything again. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for sitting at the barber's table. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. See y'all. Thanks. That's Kara's up there? No, that's a Gordon. Oh, that's it. No, yeah.